for those who know me, they would know when I'm in a crowd, whether it's friends or colleagues, I'm relatively the quiet one. I like to listen. I like to listen when people say, I want to have high scores or I can have fun with my friends. I notice when people say, I want to get into my dream school or I can pursue my passion in playing lacrosse. I can backpack across Europe or I can write my business plan. I can achieve my savings goal or I can splurge on my favorite dress. I can run my business or I can achieve a healthy lifestyle. Today, I want to share with you a choice that I'm very passionate about, a choice that has been catalyzing my life, catalyzing changes, and open up tons of possibilities in my journey. A catalyst in a chemistry world is something that speeds up a chemistry reaction. A chemical reaction with a catalyst only needs a little bit of this catalyst to achieve this, this um, reaction. And this catalyst can be repeatedly used many, many times, even after the reaction is done. And the reaction that I want to talk about today is a reaction that opens up possibilities, help us reach goals, and enables us to live creatively. The reaction is a creator's mindset. I can find a dream job or I can win my parents' approval. Seven years ago, I find myself talking, talking to myself this phrase at my cubicle at an investment banking job. I had been working for three years after college, after my undergraduate studies as an economics major. Before that, I was born and raised in Hong Kong in a local school in Causeway Bay. And my family is one of the most traditional Asian families. My mom and dad has worked in the same job for 30 years. My sister gone on to become a doctor. And working in an investment bank, although maybe not as prestigious as a doctor, is probably one of the things that an Asian family like my, my own would approve. Yet, I find myself 11 p.m. sitting at the cubicle of one of the buildings in Central, thinking to myself, gosh, I'm living someone's dream. I might be making good money. I might be sitting in a prestigious building. I might be wearing expensive suits. But deep down, I know this is not my passion. I wanted something more, and I crave and yearn and cry out loud in my heart for that. I wanted to create something. I wanted to impact others with my own hands, and I wanted to see through reaction in others that I can work with. Yet, I find myself thinking, I can either find my dream job or winning over my parents' approval. Today's catalyst I want to share is the choice of choosing and over or. I like to catch myself and catch others around me when they say, I can find a dream job or I can win over my family's approval. Whenever I hear the word or, I challenge myself to think, what if I can replace it with and? What if I can do both? What can I do to make 
possible both finding a dream job and winning over my family's approval. I start, it started with a tiny seed in my heart, and I started working on it step by step. Seven years from that day, today, I cannot say my family is completely comfortable with me going on an entrepreneurial path, but I can certainly say they're comfortable, they, they approve of my choice now to leave a safe job and pursue something I'm passionate about. The choice of choosing and over or is not just about career change or it's not just about um, academic studies. This choice, little did I know, also opened up to possibilities in my life outside of work, outside of professional career. Three and a half years ago, I started First Code Academy, which today I'm still working on every day passionately we teach young kids how to code, and more importantly, a creator's mindset. We believe that through learning coding, a young child as young as five years old can learn to think like a creator. And I realized by choosing the word and over or is exactly that catalyst that I needed to embrace that creator's mindset. And I believe everybody is possible to, it's possible for everybody to make this choice. Now choosing the path of being an entrepreneur is not easy. In fact, many, of, many people warned me before going to that path that, you know, being an entrepreneur is one of the toughest job. I would say, I cannot agree more. Uh, in the past three years, maybe the time, the hours, the um, efforts, and the challenges that I, uh, every day is thrown at this job, maybe it's probably 10 years, uh, make me age 10 years more. I remember the first 18 months of starting uh, this company, I did not take any vacations. I rarely saw friends. And most of all, I actually forgot about taking care of myself. I was working every day, consumed by everything that is inside out of uh, my creation. At the same time, of course, there's not a lot of help that could be found. So from taking out the trash to teaching to talking to parents and customers and posting on Facebook, everything was on my plate. Through that early stages of running a startup, I realized, wow, my health is really going downhill. I would go to the gym and try to run 5K, and I would feel like dying. So I thought to myself, hey, they say that as an entrepreneur, you got to give up something. You can either run a business or you can have a healthy lifestyle. Don't they say you got to suffer in order to do something great? Here I am catching myself again, the word or. What if it's not only, what if I can replace the word or with and? What if I can run a business and lead a healthy lifestyle? In fact, last year, I decided to take this to a next level. I decided that I can run a business and I'm going to train for my first triathlon. For those of you who are, uh, may not be familiar, triathlon is about swimming, biking, and running. And this is, you're talking about a person that when I was in secondary school, I could barely run for nine minutes. I remember in physical education class, my least favorite subject of all, I would be the last person at the corner and in the basketball court, I actually never, haven't been able to shoot through that net. So talking about this challenge and talking about challenging a mindset. Four months of hard work, 
four months of seven to 10 hours of week training. Last October, I completed my first Olympic distance triathlon in three hours, 30 minutes. Nothing, maybe the distance and the time, nothing to write home about, but I believe that through making s small steps and through being aware of our thinking, our words that we talk to ourselves, replacing the word or with and, we open up possibilities. What if you can get high scores in your exams and have fun with your friends at the same time? Maybe we can form study sessions and have a meal, grab a meal before and after study sessions. What if you can backpack across Europe and write a business plan at the same time? Maybe through traveling abroad, you can inspire yourself to find new business ideas or validate your idea through talking to more people. The possibilities are limitless once we identify what we're limiting ourselves. A catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction. Through choosing and over or, you, we challenge ourselves to think creatively opens up ourselves to a richer life full of new possibilities, and at the same time challenges the assumptions behind our limited thinking. This catalyst can be used repeatedly as well. You only need to start being aware of it. Whenever you talk to yourself, he, catch yourself saying or, and challenge to replace this with and. Only a tiny bit is needed. And when we're not limiting ourselves to choosing one over the other, we're living, we're going after what we truly want. We're creative, we're motivated, we're constantly expanding our possibilities, and we're passionate. So go ahead and start hearing, start listening around you, listening to yourself. Whenever you say the word or, challenge with and, and create your possibilities. Thank you.